Hey guys, how's everybody doing today? Welcome back to the channel. So today what we're going to be discussing is the Star Model BM and 9mm Parabellum. We'll be doing a short little history about the pistol and we'll be doing a kind of a tabletop review, my thoughts and what I think of the pistol over the last, say, uh, year or so that I've owned it. So, here we go. Now a lot of these Star BM pistols will come in their original box. This one happens to come in a cardboard box. Some in the past have come in plastic boxes and uh, they're usually not original to the specific firearm. Whenever agencies or uh, I should say police agencies turned in their used weapons, they went back to Star and a lot of them were refurbished. So boxes and things of that nature were swapped around. Now Star BM is molded after the 1911, but it functions pretty differently. There's a lot of different parts. You'll notice uh, the grip safety is missing. You'll notice there's a pin here on our trigger where our trigger hinges on a pin instead of coming straight backwards like a 1911. You see this particular BM came with a pretty cool instruction manual. It's pretty cool. Now, most of the pistols will come with uh, your cleaning rod, one magazine. Magazines now have gotten pretty expensive. I got lucky whenever I bought a uh, bought my BM that I've gotten a few extra magazines because I see now they're running about $40. Now this BM is in excellent condition. Uh, go ahead and check. It is unloaded. No magazine. This, uh, this particular BM is in great condition. Now you'll notice I want to go drop the hammer. This pistol has a magazine disconnect. So if you're interested in how to remove the magazine disconnect, stick around and I'll either show you in this video or I might do a whole separate video on the magazine disconnect. Uh, I'm not a big fan of it, so I removed it from one of my Star BMs. Now, Now the Star BM was produced from 1972 to 1992. So for 20 years they built these pistols and they never made any changes on them. Uh, these pistols were from inception designed and built the same way for 20 years which is good for us surplus buyers because I know they say there's not a lot of parts for these out there, but eventually they're going to start showing up. They got to, right? The more people play with them, the more people break them, they're going to end up parting out the guns. So we should be able to find some parts for them in the future. Uh, a lot of people recommend changing out the firing pin or maybe the extractor spring. I haven't had to worry about any of that. Uh, I have two star BMs and both happen to function great. Uh, I'm not worried about the um, firing pin. As long as you're not dry firing the pistol, you should be all right. The firing pins are known to be a little brittle, so if you're gonna be dry firing the pistol, uh, please, just use some snap caps. Uh, you can get some snap caps off of, say, Amazon, and then you can practice dry firing your pistol, if you so please, indoors safely. Uh, now these firearms, they, they, they're great firearms, easy to shoot mild recoil. You can see this particular BM has very nice bluing on it. Uh, so the reason I said I have two is because I bought this one first and it came in such nice condition that I was like wait a minute I almost feel bad shooting this one. And they're such an affordable price I went ahead and bought a second one. Now the second one I bought still a great pistol just a little bit more wear. 
you can see a little more wear around the trigger uh, a little more wear on the front and back strap which is perfectly fine I shoot the daylights out of this pistol I absolutely love it so while we're here let's go ahead and do a field strip how to disassemble the firearm now you can see it's on fire clear all right what we're going to start off by doing is racking the slide back and we're going to interface this safety notch into this detent here once you get the pistol or the slide back we can go ahead and depress the slide release we'll press that in well oh, that pops our slide release all the way out now maintaining the slide we can lower our safety and the slide will come right off you can see already how my recoil spring is wanting to fall out that is easily pulled out now what you'll do is you'll take your drop link or your barrel link whatever you want to call it drop it down lift up on your barrel and push it out and let's take our barrel bushing out that help the barrel bushing all you do is rotate it and that pulls right out so we pull our barrel bushing out pull our barrel out and voila we have the pistol completely disassembled now as I said you can see this one has a little more wear uh, perfectly normal see a little copper build up from where uh, the nose of the bullet's been hitting the feed ramp overall a good pistol uh, you can see they do have a what would you call that a color case hardened hammer that's pretty cool but overall a real fun pistol to shoot and own I do recommend if you've not picked one of these up to pick one up uh, I mean they're absolutely a blast to shoot I know me in my case I have a lot of nine millimeter pistols that that's my favorite caliber uh, when it comes to handguns it's cheap to shoot I have fun shooting it now let's go ahead and put this bad boy back together drop length down slide it into our slide go ahead and get our bushing put it in like so and rotate now let's get our recoil spring and our little notch side will go down towards the drop link let's make sure our drop link is out of the way And we'll just slide this in there and you gotta be careful because there is no real spring pressure holding anything down so once you get that in there it's going to try to pop out but we'll, we'll, we'll manage now I'm going to do this upside down real quick just to maintain my spring down all right and now that I have the slide on I'm going to pull the slide all the way back and interface this notch again. Alright, now that I've got that back, I want to locate my drop link. Give my pistol a shake. And I see that it has fallen into the hole. I'm going to go ahead and insert that. And let's see. Inserts very easily. And we'll just go ahead and depress it into the side of the frame. Alright. I'm going to drop my safety again. Function test. Very nice reset. Listen. All right, and now our pistol's back together. So, as you can see, the pistol's pretty easy to work with. Uh, very fun to shoot. If you do not have one, I would recommend picking one up. This particular one, I do carry. Uh, it's kind of a, a truck gun, if you would say. 
uh, I like to I like to get it out of the get it out of the closet every now and then and take it out but uh, that's about all I can think of right now we'll look and uh, talk about you have your magazine release you have your safety selector Oh, something I did not cover were the sights. The sights are not terrible. Uh, they are what you'd say military style sights, but it does shoot point of aim, so that is a good thing. And uh, if you want to learn about how to get rid of that magazine disconnect, I'll teach you. This one has had the magazine disconnect removed, so when you pull the trigger without a magazine, the hammer does fall, unlike the other pistol, which I was going to leave just all over his room. But if you'd like to see how to remove that magazine disconnect, I'll put up a video of that shortly. And uh, I appreciate y'all stopping by today, and y'all have a good one.